Hi everyone, this is YML and this is a continuation of a previous video where we discussed the vanishing and exploding gradients problem in recurrent neural networks and in this video we are going to provide possible solutions to this problem. So a first possible solution to the problem of vanishing and exploding gradients is that instead of computer the gradients all the way back to the first step as I am drawing right now, so all the back here the gradients for the matrix WH and WX so what we can do instead is to uh, compute the gradients until a certain step for instance until the second step or the third step or whatever fixed number of steps you want in your training algorithm and why does this work so remember from the previous slide that what we are basically do to compute the uh, recurrent gradients is to compute the product over the time density of wh which is equivalent to raising wh to the power of t where t is basically the number of steps in the sequence so obviously if we reduce t then we also reduce the effects of vanishing or exploding gradients another solution to this problem is to use a variation of recurrent neural networks for instance we can use long short term memory cells or lstms for short what happens in this kind of networks is that we have several gates for instance here we have the forget gate the input gate or the output gate that basically controls the gradients flow when we are training the network bringing them closer to one I won't go into too much details regarding this method because it would take too long. And in case you are curious, I've added the links in the comments with a blog post that goes into more details regarding this topic. And the final solution that I would like to talk about is only for the exploding gradients. And it's called the gradient clipping, which basically says that we set all the values in size wh to t that go beyond a certain value c we set those values to c so basically what happens c becomes an upper bound of what the values inside wh to the power of t can be so even though we go like to an infinite steps and we have like big numbers in wh those numbers cannot become more than this value and from what I've seen in practice you, people usually set a value of c to 2 or I've seen also like this value set to 1 or numbers around this interval with all this being said I would like to thank you for watching this video I hope that you've got a better grasp of what the vanishing and exploding gradients are in recurring neural networks and how we can possibly solve this problem.